Hello, this is Flights in the Asia, and I hope you had a happy new year. For this video, we'll be going to the Philippines where we saw a bad start to the new year for many Filipino travelers as a result of technical problems at Manila's air traffic control facilities. The technical problems in Manila led to mass delays and flight cancellations throughout the Philippines, not just Manila. The situation started around 10 a.m. local time in Manila on January 1st, New Year's Day. According to the Philippine Department of Transportation, at around 9.49 a.m. local time, the Air Traffic Management Center in Manila, which serves the facility for controlling and overseeing all inbound and outbound flights as well as the overflights within Philippine airspace, went down due to a power outage, resulting in a loss of communication, radio, radar, and internet. Immediately, flight operations at Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport were suspended. And eventually, air traffic around the Philippines would be disrupted to the point there was very little to no air traffic all over the Philippines. In response, the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines implemented its emergency protocols and began to work restored flight operations at the airports, while the Manila International Airport activated its emergency response team with the expectation of a mass rescheduling of flight operations. Throughout the Philippines, it would be reported of mass flight delays, cancellations, and flight diversions for flights that were traveling to and from the Philippines to nearby regional airports. According to the Manila International Airport, as of 4 p.m. on January 1st, the air traffic control technical problems resulted in 282 flights and over 56,000 passengers being affected. Among those heavily hit by the flight disruptions was the major airlines of the Philippines such as Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, and Air Asia Philippines, which issued advisories via their social media pages related to mass flight cancellations and delays, including those flights operating throughout the afternoon and the evening. The airlines also issued advisories related to flight rebooking and refund options for those whose travel plans have been affected. Meanwhile, officials with the Manila International Airport and the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines would work through the afternoon and eventually see the partial restoration of flight operation in the later afternoon hours. Upon the partial restoration of flights to Manila International Airport, the first flight to arrive was Philippine Airlines Flight PR-222 from Brisbane, Australia, while the first departure out of Manila would be Cathay Pacific Flight CX-930 to Hong Kong. As of the recording of this video, the Philippine Department of Transportation has reported that normal operations has since resumed as of 5.50 p.m., while equipment restoration is still ongoing. This situation could not have happened at any worse time, as it happened on a peak New Year's Day. Flight delays and cancellations have been a common occurrence in any airport around the world, and the air hubs of the Philippines like Cebu and Manila are no different where weather and other incidents at the airports have affected flight operations in the past. However, this situation is unprecedented, as it happened so abruptly, with entire flight operations around Philippine airspace being grounded. As expected, this led to mass frustration, and you can read some posts on social media of travelers voicing their frustration related to the situation. Among the stories you will hear are some travelers who are stranded overseas with no flight options until a couple days after. While we can expect a further investigation to the situation, the Philippine Department of Transportation did say the primary cause was identified to be a problem with the power supply and the degraded uninterrupted power supply which had no link to commercial power and had to be connected to the latter manually. The Transportation Department also said a secondary problem was power surge due to the power outage which affected the equipment. For sure, this mass failure of the country's air traffic control systems will likely lead to government action to prevent something like this from happening again. For those watching this video in the Philippines, were you or anyone you know affected by the situation? Feel free to share your experiences in the comment section below. In the meantime, this has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. For more of the latest updates, you can check out the website at www.flightsinasia.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.